All right, I'm gonna show you how to upgrade memory on your Dell Opuplex 390. It also works on a 3010. Um, it's the exact same configuration. Make sure your computer is powered off and you have the power cord unplugged. Um, you will uh, lift up on this lever uh, to remove the uh, cover. This is on the left side of the computer. Um, also, before you start touching anything, make sure that you touch the metal part of the frame. That'll discharge any static electricity that may be in your hands. Um, it's a very important to do that, otherwise you could easily fry the hard drive or the motherboard of the computer. Um, so make sure all the static electricity is out of your, is out of your hands. To remove, first you want to remove the CD-ROM drive. This blue lever right here, lift up on it, and this slides out. We also want to disconnect these two cords the uh, SATA and then the power. Power is a little bit harder, but it just wiggle back and forth. There's no tab to press to pull it out. Once that's gone, you can remove this. This is your hard drive. Um, in here, you have a little blue lever. Um, it's in a, there's a lock and unlock position. Slide it backwards to unlock. Lift up on the blue lever. And this whole compartment comes out. You can leave it connected there, it's fine. Just rest it here on the side. This is your memory. So what you're really doing is you're gonna add another stick. Uh, we should have sent you a two gig stick. So on the memory, it can only go in one direction. So you, you'll look at, uh, there's a little notch in here, which is farther to one side than the other. It's not in the center. So you need to match up uh, on your uh, slot here make sure that it goes into the correct notch uh, you will push back these two tabs on the side and then all it does is it slides in um, now you have to make sure it's firmly um, inserted into the slot so press down and it will click uh, once once it's fully in the two notches on the sides will close and uh, they'll be flush so that you know that the memory is securely in once that's done, put your hard drive back in, put in this end first. It'll slide onto the two little uh, tabs there. I'm gonna lock the hard drive back so you will pull the blue layer back. Uh, you put your CD-ROM back in. It just sits, sits in here and then you connect. Now these are, these are coated here, they have um, a little Tetris L shape, just make sure it matches up. Same with the power cord. And then this just clips back into place. Make sure it's flush with the front so that it's all, with, all the way in. The case, uh, the bottom end goes in first. Just line up the tabs. And that will clip in. Um, and then you will want to plug it in, uh, and we will log in and test that the memory is installed.